Hey guys, Josh here, and welcome back to another live stream. Today, we're going to be taking a first look at Echoes of the Plum Grove. This is a game I've been looking forward to for so long, and it's not out yet, but there is a demo available on Steam. The full release should be sometime next year. And yeah, so basically it's a farming sim um, that is in a kind of like Paper Mario inspired style. So it's like the characters are flat, but the environments are kind of like in 3D and it, it just looks super cute. And it takes place in the colonial era, which I feel like it's an era and like a setting. We don't see in a lot of farming games. So yeah, I was so excited to check it out. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. By the way, I hope everybody's doing good. And I think the demo is still available on Steam if you uh, guys wanna check it out. So feel free to check it out and play as I play together if you have Steam. Uh, and yeah, hi Lil, hi Ying, Miggy, Monkey, Amanda, Sunny Heart, Haley, Hiki, Yana. I hope you're all doing great. Let me know if you've played the demo. I know Miggy Monkey, you played it. Uh, let me know if you... Well, I think you already told me you liked it, but yeah. Anyway, guys, if you've played it, let me know how it was. Let's start a new save file. And... Oh, I think... Okay, now you should hear the music. All right, so the first thing we'll do is create our character. We get to pick our gender, and the character is just so cute. Look at that little guy. <laughs> the facial, like the... Everything is just so lovely. All right, so it's a good se selection of skin tones here. Uh, by the way, this game is made by mostly like two people and they have a few people helping them, but it's most like a really small team. So it's unbelie unbelievable how like cute <laughs> this game looks. All right, what, what shape, what nose shape should we pick? Circle, triangle or square? <laughs> I love those. Uh, this game looks really fun. It does look so fun. Should we go for the circle one? The round one is so cute. But let's go for a triangle. Uh, then we get to choose our hair color. So there's white, black. I love that she get the preview, right? It changes the color in the actual, like, it changes it here. And I love how every color, you can tell that they were really, like, um, they hand-drawn the, all the colors separately because... Even the dark brown, like the dark brown is going to be a little bit actually different, a little bit different depending on the actual hairstyle. So you can tell that they put a lot of like work into just making sure all of these colors look good. Uh, then we've got red, orange, blonde and platinum. So maybe we can go for dark brown. So on the top, you've got the most more like feminine hairstyles and then at the bottom you got the more masculine ones which one should we go for uh is this a full release no this is only the demo uh the release should be for some time next year so yeah there's no release date yet and there will be a kickstarter for this game i believe uh i kind of like this one let's go for that um at the end, like later this year, there should be a Kickstarter. There's no date yet, but it will be coming. Uh, and oh, I love that. Once again, like all the recolors are so well done. You know, there are some games where you recolor and it's just like, it looks really basic. But like all the, like the recolors are just so well done. So anyway, we've got brown, green or black. You know what? Let's go with green. I want, I want to have some color. So at the top, you've got the more like feminine ones. And then at the bottom... We've got the more masculine one ones. I love her body so round. I kind of like this one. Oh, the black is kind of cool, right? Black and purple. Oh, this one's cool too. Oh, they're all so cool. You know what? I might go for this one. Kind of looks cool in black. What what should we get? What should we pick? Uh, is this going to be a long demo? I have no idea. I think two hours. I don't know what, where I got that number. I, I, had a, I have a feeling it's like two hours, but I have no idea, actually. So we'll see if it's 30 minutes. It'll be 30 minutes. Uh, for those who played, if you played and you know how long it took you to play the demo, let me know. Two hours. Wow. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm just saying that number uh, kind of randomly. I have no idea. So if anyone played, let me know. Okay, so I think... 
This one looks kind of cool. I think I want to go for this one. What do you guys think? Brown? Green or black? Which one looks the best? Maybe brown and accessories. So once again, we've got lots of little shoes. <laughs> Everything's just so cute. It's not like a huge selection, but everything's just so lovely. Um, we don't see them that like. Let's do this. Uh, a lot of people are saying black or green. So you know what? Let's go with green. Uh, you can have uh, glasses or facial hair. This is cute, but we're going to go just like this. Uh, Josh, and then let's go with a random last name. I love that you can randomize. Um, green. Oh, that was cute. Green since it was matching with my outfit. Uh, what kind of last name? Gross. I don't know that was the last name. Uh, what kind of last name should we pick? Trying to find something cute. But I don't want to use my... Real. You know what? It's called Echoes of the Plum Grove, right? So let's go with Plum. Josh Plum. That's cute. That's a cute name. Garden. Oh, Garden? Garden was cute. It would have been cute, yeah. Green was cute. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Oh my gosh. I love this. Uh, little cutscenes. We're going on this shit. Oh my gosh, I have my little bag. I'm so cute. <laughs> that character is just so lovely. So adorable. Can you guys hear the music well? I, I made sure it wasn't too loud, but let me know if you can actually hear it a little bit. I am so cute. Oh, even if there's no dialogue, like you can feel stuff. Oh, there is dialogue. <laughs> is this your first crossing? Yes. We're going to cross the ocean. Just beyond that horizon lies the new world, a fresh start. I presume you're here to make a new life for yourself as well. Yes, yes. Oh, pardon me. Where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Timothy Tweed. I intend to settle down in the new world as well. Got myself some land awaiting me in the town of Honeywood. As of late, it has been difficult to make ends meet. My sister's health is ailing. For how long can we stay afloat? Once the farm in Honeywood is up and running, I intend to send for my family. Life in the new world. It will be so much better for my sister. Forgive me, prattling on like I am. What do you plan to do? All aboard. We'll be departing momentarily. Uh, passengers to your designated area, if you please. Ah, uh, it's just about time. I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty more of each other. This game is reminding me of Paper Mario in the art style. Yeah, it is definitely inspired by Paper Mario. Um, yeah, the developers... I actually met the developers uh, during PAX West in Seattle. And I got to chat with them a lot. And they showed me the game and everything. And yeah, they said... That Paper Mario was one of their favorite games, so they took a lot of inspiration from Paper Mario and also a lot of other like childhood favorite things, like some movies and like games and stuff. Have a great day, Josh and Chad. Sunny Heart, thank you so much. Have a great day as well. Oh no, the storm is a fierce one. The wheel, I can keep her. <laughs> the animation is just so cute. It's really like Paper Mario esque, the like quirky animations. I can feel the wood cracking beneath us. I fear this may be the end for us all. I do not wish to die yet. The hull is breaking apart. Everyone, abandon ship. My dearest... Can you hear the people screaming? I don't know if you guys can hear them, but it's so... <laughs> if by chance I should perish, please tell my fam. Oh. I love that you actually get to see the beginning. I feel like in a lot of farming games, you just appear at home and there's no like introduction or like it's a really, really quick introduction. So I like that here you get you get to see when you're in like your old place, like in Europe and like on your ship and like getting ready and then you see the storm and everything. So I, I like that. Goodness, you're finally awake. Cutest little disaster at sea. Definitely a very cute, very cute disaster. 
We had such a ter terrible storm last night. This little old light uh, lighthouse was rattling something fierce. Imagine my surprise when I found you washed up on the beach this morning. I couldn't just leave you there, of course. But, my dear, I hate to be the bearer of grave news. I'm afraid you may be the only survivor. Oh no, what about Timothy? We found you amidst the wreckage. The others, I fear, have likely perished in that dreadful storm. Don't fret, dearie. That was quite an ordeal, I'm sure. But you're safe now, and that's what matters. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> I know this is a lot to take in. I can only imagine. But when you're filling up to it, I have someone who wishes to meet you. Someone rather important, no less. Just head through the door when you're ready. We'll be waiting. I wanted to make friends with Timothy. This is so heartbreaking. All right. You can move around. This is so cute. Even the like when you flip around, it's really like Paper Mario. I wonder if you can jump. I want to jump and bounce on the bed. All right, let's go out. I'm so glad you chose Plum as a last name. Yeah, <laughs> it's cute, right? So good to see you up and about. Their house is so nice. Uh, feeling better than no broken bones. I heard about your situation. Such a tragedy. The sea is a cruel mistress. At the same time, I must offer you a proper welcome. Through, uh, though the circumstances may be less than ideal, you found your way to our fair town of Honeywood. The name's Quentin Whitfield. I'm the mayor here. I'm just dropping in. I hope everyone's having a good day. I also like the art style. Thank you so much, Morgan. I love the art style so much. Now, I know uh, you were planning on settling somewhere else, but there won't be any passenger ships departing from Honeywood anytime soon. And it just so happens that we have a vacant plot of land available for an intrepid upstart like yourself. The land was purchased by... Uh, what was the lad's name again? He was a friendly bloke from the mainland, but he never showed up. Last at sea, perchance. Ah, but it would be so lovely to see that old farm up and running again. What say you? Would you be willing to settle on our fair island instead? Yes. It's settled then. Follow me and I'll take you to your new home. So am I taking Timothy's farm? I think that's what's happening, right? Take care, my dear. I packed some food to help you get started. It should already be in your inventory. Thank you. Many thanks for your hospitality, Luna. Now, off to the farm. Just like Cornucopia, but with cozier and calmer color palette. I love vintage. Yeah, I love this. Not only the art style, but just the... Oh, I love how everything's like in the wind. Flowing in the wind. But like the colonial, like all the outfits and the architecture and everything. So nice. Like something we don't see in a lot of farming games. Uh, the waves seem calmer than usual this morning. The calm after the storm, perhaps. It doesn't look really calm, actually. <laughs> you see, despite the storms that come through here, we're a regular stop on the trade routes. I love how the old guy is, like, really kind of, like, slouching a lot. <laughs> That's a nice little detail. Oh, this looks nice. This here is our charming schoolhouse, where the children of Honeywood spend their day learning. Mayhaps... Your own offspring will one day go here too. It's nice. There's not a lot of farming games with schools, right? Oh, I love the music. I love... Oh, there's so much details. There's like so many things to look at. Now, where was that thing? Ah, yes. Here it is. I'm so glad I always keep an extra on me. So you shan't be lost. I present you with a map of the island. It's yours to keep. West from here is the center of Honeywood and my estate. Uh, you can ponder your map later, press M to see where things are located and which shops are open and what time of day. Click on signposts within the map to fast travel ooh, to different locations around the island. This will help you move around more easily. Now, let us keep moving. We're but a few minutes away. The art style is so cute and cozy. It is so cute. Uh, I wonder if you can grow tobacco without it. Some of our settlements never would have survived. Oh, I wonder. My, my, I hadn't realized the farm had fallen into such disrepair. Well, that just means you can truly make it your own. An honest, day's an honest day's work is good for the soul, isn't that right? Although it might take more than a day's work to clean this place up a whole. Hey everyone, I think they give you Timothy's farm. I know, I think I'm getting Timothy's farm, I wish. I'm so sad. <laughs> At least we get a farm. Now there's the topic of taxes. The land is yours to keep. 
but taxes will always be due at the end of every week. Oh, that's interesting. And uh, you can find me at the town hall later today to sign your name on the deed and work out the details of the payment. Oh, so I wonder how hard it's going to be to like keep up with the taxes. Almost forgot the previous owner. Owners might have left behind some equipment in the farmhouse when they left. Be sure to take a look. There might be some tools lying about to help you get started. Taxes, is this real life? Well, you know what? I get a free land and a free house and everything. So, having to pay taxes, I think it's not too bad of a deal. This is so cute. I'm picking up some dandelions. So, you can see the time here. And there's hunger. There's a sleepy uh, meter. There's a little heart here. So, there's a clock. We're in 1701. Uh, visit me at the town hall during operating hours so I can formally sign the farm over to you. All right. We'll do that. Well, let's check uh, the little house. Let's check the house. Ooh, crafting table, composter. Crafting table, preservative, jar, picket fence. So we'll be able to make some fences to decorate, uh, wooden bed. Yeah, of course I don't have anything. I don't have any materials, but the, oh, I like the music. Oh, I have some pine, oh, journey cake. Four days until it rot. So the food will rot, so you'll have to. I think uh, the developers told me later on you'll be able to have like um, like a basement or like a freezer kind of thing. Uh, so you will be able to preserve food later on in the game. But at the beginning, uh, you'll have to be careful about that. Uh, let me just place uh, my tools first. So what's the hammer for? Oh, that removes placed items. Okay. And there's durability. So there's a simple hole and then... This, this, okay, let's do that. I love how the UI, I love how it's like a book. It's like my old journal. Oh, here's the map. Oh, it looks so nice. I love how it's like all like sepia tones, but when you hover on something, the colors pop up. Click to fast travel. It will take you 39 minutes. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's go to the city hall. That is so cute. I love the movement. Let's chat with her. Mar Mary. Oh, maybe she's the wife of the mayor. Uh, it's you. Listen, you'd better uh, take good care of that empty farm you locked into. Can I insult her? I won't stand here and have you insult me like that. Oh, oh. <laughs> trade. Oh, she doesn't have anything to trade with. Anything else? That's all. I never forget to name nor face Josh Plum. <laughs> she's so angry. Oh my god, I love how she just walks away and like she keeps her angry face. Aw. Hello, can you come back later? I'm in the middle of something. Good riddance. Oh no. <laughs> I made my first enemy. Oh my gosh, everybody looks so angry. Okay, who's that girl? Uh, Jessup Edwards. Nice to meet you. I'm Jessup Edwards and I'm the doctor. I hope you're taking good care of that old farm. I want Verity to grow up and to be as healthy as can be. Ooh. I saw a bear once in the flesh. I didn't dare approach it though. Okay, I think we're we should be friends with the doctor in case I get sick. I don't want to. I don't I don't want her to poison me or anything like that. Yeah, I love how <laughs> I really like though how you can in, just insult people and like make enemies. Uh oh, lost comb. I can't find my comb. I might have lost it near the broken bridge west of town. Isabel. Okay, at least it's not Mary. Okay, Isabel. Okay, I'll find that for you. Uh, market day every Sunday. Fishing contest on the 13th. Uh, can you insult? You can insult anybody. Yeah, I think you can. Uh, if you'll just follow me, please. Yeah. So I wonder if she was maybe her daughter. Because she looked a lot younger than him, right? I mean, his daughter, right? I think she was his daughter. Uh, now, where is that deed? I don't know if there's like a family tree somewhere we can see. Uh, here it is. Now, I just need you to sign your name over here. 
Yes, just plum. And with my seal, it is official. The land is now yours. Thank you so much. Don't forget, taxes are due every Sunday by end of day. Be sure to uh, see me to make your payment. Otherwise, your land will be seized. But don't fret. You can earn money by selling your crops or collecting objects around the island. Most folks around here will purchase just about anything for a fair price. I'm sure you'll be able to make your weekly payment without much hassle. Good to know. Now that all of the formalities are over, I would like to ask a favor of you. Let us discuss just over here. Maybe we can if we need to get the whole town to hate you. Yeah, I think we can. Like, we, we could try. <laughs> Many of our townsfolk are eager to meet you. I would like you to introduce yourself to some of them. After all, it's not every day that we have new residents on our little island. Especially ones who washed up on shore. If you complete this quest for me, I shall reward you with some items. I think you'll find them very helpful. Alright, let's meet everyone. Well, we already met. Can I see... Do I have a journal? Oh, we can. Oh, you have skills. Farming, foraging, fishing, social. Crafting, cooking. Collection book. You can see all the crops, all the fish. This is so cute. There's a little lantern. So if you go to the caves or something, you can use that. Uh, village. You can see. Oh, Mary. Yeah. There's uh, the map star. Oh, I love that. You can see all the tutorials here that tells you how to do stuff. All right, so let's go. What is that? Turnip seeds. Oh, yeah. I can plant some turnips. I already have some seeds. Oh, I can see my quest here. Uh, know your neighbors. Meet 18 villagers. And my taxes. I need 100 coins. It's not too bad, right? Not too bad. So I think I'm, I should go plant my turnips first. Oh, let's just chat with everybody we meet. Cat Hopkins. You're Josh Plum, right? I've heard about you. I'm Cat Hopkins. Sometimes I like to run around town and shake every tree in sight. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Daniel Hopkins works with such dangerous equipment all day. I hope he knows what he's doing. I like how everybody has a last name. So like you already know like who's in which family. You know, like there's the Hopkins, there's the Whitfield, there's the Hutton. This is so cute. So she said you should check the trees. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Get some wood. I wonder if I can get any crops from that. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, if you click on the gate, you can open it. Can I get those cabbages? No, I don't think I can. Oh, by the way, you can move. Oh, that's so nice. You can, so you can move with WASD. But you can also move by just clicking somewhere. And your character. So I clicked over there. And my character just goes there automatically. Okay, well, that's not exactly where I clicked. But yeah, like you just click somewhere and your character goes there. So that's actually pretty nice. So if you... I don't think this controller support for now. But the mouse is pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Jacob Ryle. Just plum. I'll try to remember that. I'm Jacob Ryle. Beautiful day out, don't you think? It's not much, but I hope that my name will live on through my writing. Let's see if he has... Oh, yeah. Wheat seeds. Oh. You know what? I would love that. So, I could either, either give him 20 coins or 10 coins and one pemmican. Why why don't we do that? Yeah, yeah, I got some wheat seeds. That's so nice. I love how you can trade. I love that you can just like trade with people like that. So of course there's gonna be stores, but yeah, I love that you can just trade with people. I think the houses you can't yeah, you cannot go in the houses for the demo. Oh look at those little chickens. Can we pet them? Uh, maybe you can only pet your your own chickens. All right, let's go. Let's go into that forest. I just we're oh on one games. Thank you so much for joining us. We're here in chat. If anyone has any questions, if you wanted to see how people are related, hovering over someone in the village tab will show you how they're related. Oh, that's so nice. 
By the way, on one games, thank you so much for stopping by. So everybody, these are the developers of this game who worked really hard on it. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, you can ask them. Oh yeah, exactly. So for example, the girl I insulted, Mary uh, Whitfield. Oh, she's the wife of Quentin. So yeah. And she has a son and a daughter. And for example, Jessup has a wife and a daughter. Kat has a daughter, a brother, and a son. So yeah, I love that you can see the little family family tree. Well, not a tree, but you can see who they're related to. Let's pick up some flowers. I love the music in this area. Oh, that guy's foraging. William Watt. Nice to meet you, Josh Plum. I'm William Watt and I'm the carpenter. Oh, build. So you can have a barn, you can have a chicken coop. Uh, that's all for now. But obviously I don't have any resources for that. Farmhouse, you can upgrade. Farmhouse 2.0. Look at that. Um, maybe I can... I don't know if you can do it in the demo, but... If I get some enough resources. Can I shake those trees? I don't think. Maybe they're too big to be, sh to be shaken. I wonder if you can get married yourself in this game. Yes, you can get married. Um, you can get married. And if I'm not wrong, I think other characters will also like marry each other. So if there's like two people that are single, they will be able to marry. And eventually they'll pass away and get like get replaced by other other people. Uh, Sarah Edwards, welcome to Honeywood. I'm Sarah Ed Edwards. Are uh, you from the mainland? Yes. Yes. I've seen Mabel Chesney talk to her bees sometimes. I guess that's normal when you think about it. Uh, everything is in bloom. Such a beautiful season we're having. It is beautiful. Should we try to go into the caves? I've heard it's going to be really dark in the caves in this game. I don't know if... Oh, you cannot venture into the cave without a lantern. Oh, I don't have a... Oops. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, okay, I made it. Okay, just pressed escape. It fixed it. Um, why am I so excited about this game? Because it's really cute. <laughs> when does it come out? It comes out in... Supposed to be 2024, but there's no exact date yet. I love how this stuff becomes transparent when you go behind. Oh, look at that fancy house. Maybe we should make friends with these people. I don't think you can go in. Oh, Whitfield. Oh, Whitfield. Okay. I'm, I'm not on a good start with them, but... Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, that's a freezer. Oh, Mary. <laughs> She's still mad. She's still mad from a few hours ago. I'm so sorry. Can I just give... No. Well, there's... A, yeah, the gift is grayed out. Yeah, she's still so mad. <laughs> Uh, thanks Josh for playing this and Onwind Games for making a really neat looking game reminds me of Pentiment, one of my favorite games last Oh, I've never heard of that. I should look it up. What kind of game is that? Uh, hello. Hi farm. Hello. Insulting the rich lady. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, but. All right. Oh, it's the. <laughs> Quentin is just dancing. I wonder if I can dance with him. I wish you had like a little... Oh my gosh, she's so cute. You can even hear... I don't know if you guys can hear it. He's making some little sounds. Um, okay, should I try to find the, the um, lost comb for her? You know what? I should plant my turnips actually. Before the end of the day. So let's go back home. So we could fast travel, but let's, let's walk. Because we haven't explored everything yet so let's just walk oh oh the kids just finished school i think you're from the mainland that's so cool i'm verity edwards see you later alligator <laughs> hiya you're josh plum i'm judith jones nice talking to you sir your name is josh plum okay my name is benjamin whitfield bye bye you're new in town right my name is scarlett hopkins can I go now? All right. They're so cute. 
Uh, welcome to town. I'm James Sutton. I'm a teacher. It's so nice how, like, just a little details, but, like, at 4 p.m., you can see everybody finishes school and, like, they all go back. They all go back to their homes. Oh, she's so cute. You're Josh Plum, right? I've heard about you. I'm Mabel Chesney. Oh, she's the girl that that's obsessed with bees, right? Uh, do you ever watch the seagulls down by the shore? I think it's relaxing somehow. I heard from Edward Bailey that taking care of pigs is a messy job. Can sound surprised. I love that they talk about other people too. They're like, oh, I've heard this person is doing that. Or I've heard that this person is. Uh, is it just me or is the audio game kind of low? I think I can bring it up. I was asking earlier. I was scared I was going to be too high. Uh, um, I just brought it up a little bit. Yeah, I love this little area. Everybody, like you're not the only one who has a farm, right? I feel like in a lot of farming games, you're, you're like the only farmer in town. But this one is a little bit more realistic, so there's a bunch a bunch of farmers. Hi, Josh, I'm so glad to finally watch you play Cause of the Plum Grove and get to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much. Um, well, I'm glad you're joining us today. Have you also played the demo? I'd love to know what you think. Um, they are procedurally generated, but we're working on the making engagement quest right now. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. All right, let's steal the ground. I love that little animation. Just all the animations are so lovely. Can I get rid of that? Yeah, with the sickle. So I have right now I have 15 plus five, right? 20 seeds. So let's do little rows of, can I, un can I? Oh, I don't know if you can until. Let's do little rows of like 10, okay? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I get some soil or something. Oh, so one little row, and let's make another one, another little row. Uh, is there an ETA on the release? I think 2024, but there's no, there's no really precise date yet. So as you can see, I think my hunger. I don't think there's stamina, but just like as the day goes on, you get tired and you get hungry. All right, so now we're gonna plant the turnips. Oops, that's not where I wanted it. Okay. This reminds me of Fallout Shelter. You know what? Or, oh, sometimes the click, I click somewhere and it plants it somewhere else for some reason. But. Um, you're right, the the art style, now that you mention it, it is kind of similar to Fallout Shelter, which I played that game for a little bit, actually. That's pretty fun. I don't usually play mobile games, but Fallout Shelter, I played it a little bit. Uh, all right, like this. Uh, this game is out. The demo is available on Steam, so you can... I put the link in the description, so if you want to try it, uh, you can check it out on Steam. And uh, by the way, I just, I just, uh, I'm gonna move my. Usually there's always something in the top left corner, but there's nothing in this game, so let me be in that corner. And then, yeah, so there is the demo available on Steam, so you can check it out if you wanna try it. Hi, Josh, thanks for sharing with us. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Yeah, it's a little bonus stream today. I, w I wasn't planning to stream. Um, tomorrow I'm going to stream Paleo Pines. And I'll have other streams later this week. But I really wanted to check out this game. And we have such a busy month. So I wasn't sure when I was going to be able to play it. So I thought might as well do a little bonus stream. Weekly taxes sound awful. Well, you know what? I think they're not too bad. It's just 100 coins. So I think it should be hard. Shouldn't be too hard to manage. Let's pick up these dandelions. Let's clean a, clean a little bit uh, before we go to bed. And should we try? Yeah, let's try to find a comb for that lady um, who lost her comb, right? I adore you, Josh. Oh, I think you're, you're the only YouTube channel I actually pay premium subscription for. 
You are always so enthusiastic and clear with your honest opinions and that absolutely helps me decide buys. Reverend BZ, thank you so much. By the way, that means a lot that uh, like I'm the only <laughs> channel that you decide to become a member and like I'm so glad you're supporting me a lot and like always here during the live stream. So thank you so much. I'm so glad my videos are helpful. Uh, I'm so happy that you're able to stream more nowadays. Mika, thank you so much. Me too. It's been so nice. It's been so nice to be able to stream more regularly, upload videos more regularly as well. Yeah, I'm still trying to find the right balance between that. Oh, I'm getting hungry, pickish. I'm going to be hungry in 12 minutes. Find the right balance between like videos and streams. Ideally, I'd like to stream three times a week and upload videos three times a week. But yeah. Um, so she said somewhere near the bridge, right? Near the broken bridge west of town. Oh. Okay. You move slower, get a lantern. Oh. So you move a little bit slower at night. I don't think there's much difference, but. This looks so sweet. This is such an adorable game. I love the opening cutscene. If you guys have not seen it, you should. <laughs> you should definitely play the demo. Just the opening cutscene is so lovely and sad and cute at the same time. Just so, so many emotions. <laughs> uh, very well, money spent. I agree. I always watch your live and videos, plus the whole community is so wholesome. Thank you so much. By the way, for those who are super seedlings, um, if you're a channel member... Oh, here's the comp. On Wednesday, I'm going to do a member stream, but I've not decided what I'm going to be playing yet. So if you have any suggestions, um, like last time we did Roller Coaster Tycoon... At the end of the month, I'm going to do My Sims, the Wii game. Uh, but I've not decided yet for Wednesday. So if you're a member or if you want to become a member, let me know what I should play. Does this game have murder? Oh, what a, <laughs> what a question. Um, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe there's going to be some kind of mysteries later on. Uh, I know you will be able to catch diseases. So diseases will spread around town. So like the plague or like things like that. Uh, so it is possible that some people will die. I don't know if there's going to be murders. But some of the characters will definitely uh, pass away. Oh, just a little. Okay, well, it's confirmed by the developers. It's going to be a little of murder. A little bit of murder. That's <laughs> good to know. Uh, don't forget to like the stream, friends. Yes, leave a like. It really helps. We have 124 people watching. So I think we can get to 100 likes, which would be pretty amazing. Uh, can't escape Corona even in games. Yeah, well, illnesses have been around all like forever since forever, right? So, yeah, I think it's nice to have like kind of like darker themes, I guess, in farming games because it's always, even though it looks very cute, it's nice to have like, yeah, some kind of like darker topics, I guess. Uh, there are going to be so many good videos made from this game. Yeah, for sure, I can't wait to see everybody playing it. So this is more of a settlement survival sim than a farming sim. Uh, I think it's more... I don't think it's really a settlement sim because even though it is kind of like a colony, like a new like colonial era thing, but you don't really build the town yourself. So you are you mostly, I think, just manage your farm. So I think it's like a classic kind of classic farming sim. Uh, I like how you can choose for how long you sleep. So let's see if we sleep like just one hour. Our tiredness is probably not gonna. Let's see how how what what happens. See, I'm still tired, so I can sleep until rested. Let's see how long it's. Uh, one a.m. right now. Six point five hours. So that's nice. So if you if you want, you could just like take take a nap, or you know. You could, yeah. So seven twenty two. So the more tired you are, the more you're going to sleep. And that's nice, actually. Um, I can't even imagine them even doing that. So cute to even murder them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love the music. I love the little cherry blossoms. My character just looks so happy. So cute. I could just look at him all day. <laughs> 
Uh, last question from me. What's the time now plan to be like? Like, how quickly will characters age given the intent is that the player go through multiple generations of character? Ooh, that's a good question. So, like, basically, how long is it going to take, like, before you become an old, old guy and before everybody starts dying from old age? Is it going to be, like, every year or every... Every five years. Hello, Justin everyone. How is the game so far? Eon, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're doing good. It's so cute. It's so adorable. <laughs> I'm just in love with this game. And it has a few interesting gameplay mechanics as well. Look, listen to that music. It's so nice. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. Of course, I just started, but I love how... I know there's just so much personality and charm to this game, and I love how this guy's so grumpy. Let's see how he's doing. Oh, you're the new person. Heard you washed up on shore. Hope this sea wasn't too cold. Let's insult him, shall we? He's already mad, so... Uh, I'm not cut out for this. I think you've overstayed your welcome. Before you try and sell me something, let me just tell you that I'm not in the mood to haggle. He's really mad now. He's really... <laughs> he looks so happy here on this little icon, but actually he's mad. Um, are you done? Good, now get out of my way. I oh, let's go see if Mary is still angry at me. Oh, even my character is sad now. Oh, I think that's because I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna starve in 24 four minutes. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. So, let's... Oh, I have some pancakes here, actually. Some journey cake. I don't know. What's a journey cake? Is that a real thing they were making? Uh, how do you eat? Oh, I love the music here. I keep saying this, but I do love the music. Oh, space bar. Oh, yeah, I'm happy again. Maybe that guy, maybe all he needs is some journey cake. Um. Okay, let's go see Mary. I want to see if she forgive me for what I said to her yesterday. Oh, that, oh, what's up with you? You're the one who locked into that vacant farm out east. I'm Temperance Cromp, by the way. I want my son to be the kind of person who can handle a bit of banter. I'm starving. Where's my blood pudding? You know what? Have some pancakes. Oh, she's happy now. Oh, that's so cute. So me. Oh, that's so cute. So when villagers are angry, they're just hungry, actually. You just give them food. Oh, my gosh. She's so cute now. She is lovely. Okay. Where is that, Mary? Is that her? No, Agnes. Maybe she's in the city hall. Journey cake is a kind of cornbread cake. Oh, I see. I haven't had cornbread in so long. Um, It really reminds me as... Oh, wait. I lost track of... Oh, it really reminds me of Paper Mario style work. Yeah, it's very heavily inspired by Paper Mario in terms of art style. Um, I want to find Mary. You know what, though? Let me, um, oh, I need to meet two more people. Uh, I need to see Isabel, Isabella, sorry. I wonder if there's a way to see, oh yeah, she's at the John's Butcher shop. Hey, Josh and chat, welcome back. Uh, you enjoy your trip to PAX. PAX was so much, oh, there she is. PAX was so much fun. Yeah, I came back a few days ago. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm already looking forward to PAX East, which is going to be in spring, sometime uh, in spring. So, already looking forward to that. Um, okay, give calm. Wow, you're amazing. Thank you. I wonder if we can... Is this supposed to be gift? Thanks, Josh. She's really cute. I wonder if she's married. Let's see. Isabella. No, she has a brother. She's an adult, right? I think. Yeah. She's cute. Alright. Um, what else? What should we do? Oh, yeah. We need to meet two other... Let's go meet the butcher. Actually, I don't think I can go in. Oh, yeah. I can go in. Oh, I think this lady has a quest. Gigi Johns. Oh, that's such a cute name. <laughs> You're Josh Plum. Okay, I might forget that. Oh, the little kid. Even the little kids are working. I was not expecting Hollywood to gain a new resident out of the blue. 
Uh, you want advice for your farm? Sorry, I don't have time for that. Okay, what's the quest? Oh, I shouldn't have given the cake. Yeah, she wants a journey cake. Well, I wonder if I, like, if you accept a quest, do you have, like, a time limit? Three days. I wonder if you don't do it if she's gonna hate you. Oh, wait, where? Oh, no, there's no. Oh, yeah, five days. Yeah, I wonder if she's gonna hate me if I don't do it. Ah, it's a new farmer. I'm Lewis John and under. Oh, no, I don't think. I, th I thought he was a kid at first. <laughs> I don't know why. He's not a kid. I think he's an adult. He's the butcher. Okay, did I meet everybody? Or almost everybody? Let's go turn in our quest. Yay, we got so many seeds, so let's plant that. Uh, let's have a little chat. And okay, I need to make more cakes. I wonder if there's a way to cook. Or maybe I can just buy them. Uh, I think that's more like medicine. Oh yeah, so we've got like wine of Ipecac, a tonic to cure influenza, a health potion for the common cold, uh, help cure consumption, potential life cure for poisoning. So there's lots of lots of different stuff. So it's good to know. This game looks so cute. It is so cute. Uh, is this another new farm game? Yes, it should be releasing sometime next year if everything goes well, but there is a demo currently available on Steam. Alright. Oh, who's that old lady? She looks so sweet. Uh, Jane McBell. So you're the new farmer in town. I'm Jane McBell and I'm a lighthouse keeper. Wilbur Kit told me that there's a lot of historical significance to the constellations. Ooh. All right, let's check. Yeah, we need to make cake and we need to make money for our taxes. So I think the best thing we should do right now is just plant all of our new crops. So I got potato seeds, turnip seeds, cabbage seeds, pea seeds, wheat seeds, onion seeds. We've got a bunch. The mayor is so generous, right? So let's plant all of that. Was there a Kickstarter for this? And there will be a Kickstarter later this year. So stay tuned for that. I wonder if there's a way to move those trunks. Hello everyone, gotta pay taxes. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, it's just a hundred though. It's not too bad. All right, and uh, I wonder that maybe with the hammer. Oh wait, I have a pickaxe actually. Never mind. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe those stumps. Yeah, I don't think I can get rid of the stumps. Maybe I'm gonna have an axe later on. Yeah, so that little guy, I don't know. Uh, so let's do something here then. Might be a good farming game on Switch. Yeah, I hope it will come out on Switch. I guess it will depend on how the Kickstarter goes. But definitely if it runs well on the Switch, that would be such a lovely game to play. I don't even turn on my Switch anymore for nothing to play on it. Really? I think for me it's pretty much like 50-50. Like 50% 50 of the time I'm going to play on Steam. And the other 50% I'm going to play on Switch. If there's a game on Switch, usually... If a game is available on both Switch and Steam, usually I'll go for the Switch version if it runs good enough. All right. Let's plant everything.
I just got Faith Farm and it got me back to using my Switch again. Yeah, Faith Farm runs pretty well on the Switch. It's not as good as on Steam, I noticed. But it is honestly a lot of fun that I've been playing. Playing it on Switch a lot as well. I just finished the main story like a few days ago. Two days ago. I've been playing it so much these last few days. That's why I didn't upload that many videos. <laughs> I was just so busy with Faith Farm. But it's honestly a lot of fun. It's not a game for everyone. Uh, but it's... It's really fun for me. I wish I could have some help. I'm sure once you get married, I think you'll be able to get some help from your spouse. It just sucks buying a game for Switch to hope it works. Yeah, hoping it works. That's true. I always try to... Like, if I'm not sure if I'm going to buy a Switch, the game on the Switch or, or Steam, I always try to check reviews. Unless I get, like, a review key myself. But if I don't, I always try to check reviews, make sure it runs well. Uh, where do I fill up my watering can? I'm looking for a well or something like that. I can't see anything. Oh, over there in the corner, there's a little pond. There's a lake in the top right. Yeah, thank you. Left click. No, a right click. Space bar. Oh, space. Uh, your farmer is positive energy, is contagious. Love that he's always smiling. I know he's so cute, right? <laughs> he's just so happy. He got stranded. Two days ago, everybody died, but he's still just so smiley and happy. I love that positive attitude. Just gonna water our crops. We're almost done. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work, but we should make a good amount of money, hopefully, with all of these things. I'm getting hungry. So you gotta eat at least once a day, right? If you wanna survive. All right, and let's have some pemmican. Useful long life. Well, actually, three day. That's gonna rot in three days. So let's let's have some cake. And all right, let's check. So I need to pay taxes. So I'm working on that. I need to make cakes. So I guess I'm growing wheat right now. So I don't know if you make that with wheat. I don't know. I don't know how you can make cakes. I don't know how you can. Do I have a kitchen? You know what? Let me see if I have a kitchen in my house. Maybe you need to upgrade your house first. Maybe it's not even like a quest that you can actually realistically complete during the demo. I don't know. Yeah, I don't have a... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Journey cake. I need flour and milk. Oh, okay. Uh, I can make some basic breakfast. Bread and cheese. I love the little icons. So cute. Uh, so I just need flour and milk. Not too bad. Not too bad. Do I have anything else in there? Maybe... Let's, let's try to see if there's like a general store. Uh, school, Bloom's Beef Farm, clothing, oh, I want to check, I'm just, I'm probably not going to buy anything, but I want to see the outfits, that's one thing I love about this game, I love just, like, seeing everybody's outfit, they just look so good, so, let's go check, uh, okay, it's the next, on the next map, Uh, will this game allow you to raise animals? I'm pretty sure it will. Um, I think so. I hope your voyage wasn't too rough on you. I'm Alice Odell and I'm the millionaire. Oh. Uh, she wants three fish. Oh, yeah. I want to do the fishing. I don't have a fishing rod, though. Oh, I think she's pregnant. That's why she's walking like that. Oh, close. Oh, it's close at five. Mm. Yeah, it closes after 5 p.m. 
Uh, let's check that out tomorrow morning. When, when does it open? Nine. Close. Uh, oh, at ten tomorrow Saturday. Uh, so okay. Let's check that out tomorrow. I was just about to ask if there's fishing in this game. Yeah, I just don't know where to get a fishing rod. Uh, maybe the local iron. Oh, but that closed at 4 p.m. Things close early in this town. I mean, people got to make dinner and stuff, right? So they can't be working all day. Um, yeah, so you got to do your shopping early. There's a dairy farm here. Maybe I could buy milk there to make my journey cake. Um... You know what? Let's check on the graveyard. Let's see if there's anything interesting in there. And yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna see if we can buy some clothes or just look at the clothes. And then maybe we can check the blacksmith. Let's see if there's anything in there. Oh, yeah, you can hear the the music stops and you can hear the owl. I don't know if it's just because it's getting late or if it's because you're in the graveyard. Oh, you can just go in. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. There's not much you can interact with. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a graveyard in a farming sim. Really? In Harvest Moon 64... There was one. It was like a really small one. There was one. There were like six, six little graves, six tombstones. Uh, how do you fight ghosts? I don't think you can fight ghosts. Hi, Josh. Can you marry in this game? And more importantly, can you be lesbian? A love from Sweden. I'm pretty sure there will be same-sex marriage in this game. So yes. And yes, you can get married. All right, can also have children. And I think no, ma no matter the, the gender in your marriage, you'll be able to have children. Uh, what is the setting in this game? Are you on an island or is it like a small village of some sort? So you're on a small island in a little town called Honeywood. And it takes place in the colonial era. So you're in 1701 when you start the game and you... You come from the mainland and you just arrive on this little island to start a new life. Yeah. And actually that was not the, that was not the place you were supposed to go, I think, but your ship um you get into like a shipwreck. There's a there's a big storm and that's where you end up. Harvest Moon Animal Parade has a cemetery, Coral Island has two. Yeah, there's actually quite a few, right? If you think about it. The bug house. We can't go in there. You can't go and there. It's kind of creepy, right? <laughs> I love... Oh, oh! I can hear like the, the frogs and everything. Uh, I love the atmosphere here. I remember Harvest Moon 64 now. Yeah. Oh. She's stargazing. Grown-ups grown always say greetings when they meet someone, but I think it sounds funny. <laughs> have you seen our schoolhouse, Sir Plum? It's quite nice. I like it when we have hot chocolate at home. Can I trade with her? No. Let me give her something. Let me give her some flowers. This is a present. Well, okay. Thank you, sir. It's so cute. The child, the children are so polite. <laughs> like real children, right? I mean, yeah. Usually most children are polite, right? I would think. Um, Animal Parade is so good. I really want to play Animal Parade. Some flower. Oh, you can see chickweed. Four days until rot. Oh, even the grass is gonna rot. Perennial flower that what that has healing properties used in potions. Oh, so maybe you can make your own potions. I wonder if I can sell them. If I go maybe tomorrow, if I go to some shops. So tomorrow I'm gonna water my plants first thing in the day. Actually, yeah, and at nine I'm gonna start checking all the shops. Because uh, today I wanted to check the shops, but I went too late. So I'm going to do that early tomorrow. 
try to get a fishing rod, see if I can sell some stuff I have in my inventory. We're going to do a bunch of things. But I'm really enjoying my time with this game so far. And I wonder how long the demo is. I wonder if it's like one week. I don't know, but... It feels nice. I've not been feeling like too restricted for now. I, uh, I'm just feeling like I'm playing normally. Uh, do you have to buy the lantern or can you craft it? Oh, that's a good question. I assume you need to buy it. But you can have a lantern that will make you walk faster. Oh, I leveled up one of my social. I wonder what it does when you level it up, though. It doesn't tell me if I get any perks. Yeah, uh, the lantern. I don't know if it's available in the demo. We can see if I can craft it. Yeah, I wish I could sprint a little bit or... But I think the developers told me that um, you will be able... I don't know if it's like a secret or... I think I can say it. Uh, you will be able to like uh, make coffee. You'll be able to grow coffee beans and it shouldn't take too long uh, before you can actually grow the coffee beans. Uh, and that will allow you to make coffee and then you'll be able to like walk faster. Uh, kind of like in Stardew Valley, but I think in Stardew Valley it takes some time before you unlock the coffee. So in this one, I think you'll you'll get it a little bit earlier. Uh, oh yeah, the lantern. So you can craft the lantern. Oh, why is it not? Oh, but I don't know the recipe yet, right? No. That bed doesn't look comfortable. Uh, the demo lasts until end of day Sunday. You can get the lantern by doing the blacksmith quest chain on the town hall board. Oh, all right. Thank you for letting me know. So we have two days left. I'm back to work. Have a great stream, Josh. See you at the next one. Thank you so much. I just need to go turn on my AC again. Um, I'm going to be right. Is Does it pause the time? I want to make sure. 6.53. Yeah, it does pause it. Okay. I'm going to be right back in just one minute. All right, let's keep going. Uh, the demo, uh, yeah, all right. Uh, the Wii is the only system I still regularly use since you can also play GameCube games on it. I know. I love, I still play GameCube so much. I'm so, yeah. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh, we have a Wii, I just checked. Yeah, then you should definitely check out Animal Parade. Uh, items needed. Three cherries. Walter Hall. Oh, I don't think I met that guy yet. Don't think I met him yet. Really excited if they do remake Animal Parade. The teaser picture they showed featured an illustration with Animal Parade style characters. I'm looking forward to news on that one. Yeah, actually, the, the teaser also showed uh, characters from like Tree of Towns and Mineral Town. So I think it will feature like characters from like past entries in the series, but. I don't think it's going to be an Animal Parade remake, but just like maybe the option to see some of these older characters. I don't know. Um, all right, let's fill up our watering can. I'm going to try to finish that by nine and we can check all of the stores. A terrible ex-roommate stole my copy of the original Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh, and I'm still steamed about it. Why did she do that? 
That's so horrible. Why would you sell someone else's game? <laughs> that sounds awful. That would still be cool. A mashup of villagers from multiple games would be interesting. Yeah. And that's going to be the multiplayer kind of game. So I'm really looking forward to like knowing what they're going to do with that. Um, I know that... Yeah, I've heard there's going to be like a Nintendo Direct next week. So if that happens, I really hope we get some more news about the next Story of Seasons games. And the next Moon Factory as well. Alright, so that. Crops are watered. Um, I'm hungry. Let's eat something. Alright, I'm much happier now. Let's go shopping. Think this or next week. Yeah, actually, yeah, this I forgot we were Monday. I think I feel like this week, right? I feel like most rumors were pointing to this week, and I think Tokyo Game Show is this week as well. So I feel like these will probably uh, happen like very close together. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I, I'm, I meant to say like this week. Uh, I think when you pulled up the map, I saw something that said fish shack. Maybe maybe the fishing rod is there. Oh, sleeping siren in. Oh, this one? Fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's check that. Let's check that out. Okay, first. Open at 9. Oh, wait. Oh, opens at 10 on Saturday. Okay, let's get our first stop, the clothing, clothing store. I'm going to go out for dinner now. I'll watch the rest of the VOD later. All right, see you later. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, she oh she doesn't look happy to go to work. Is she the one going to work? Oh no, she's just shopping. She was temperance. Yeah, she's the one that was angry yesterday. Oh, and I can't give her any food today, so she's gonna stay angry. Alright. Tom model. So there's one dress. Oh my gosh, nine ninety nine. Oh my. Uh you can buy some oh pink ink. Oh one ninety nine. Do I have even anything that comes close to that? No. I want to see what my clothes will look like with that. I can buy cloth, threads, so maybe you can make your own stuff. There's a fancy cap. Everything is expensive, right? Maybe once I sell my crops. Actually, I don't think my crops are going to be ready in time. Oh, I love the mirrors. The mirrors are actually mirroring. Oh, my! Am I, <laughs> I don't have hair in the mirror. For some reason, this... Lady, everybody else has hair in the mirror, but my character has no... He's bald in the mirror for some reason, so... <laughs> That's interesting. Alright. So that's done. Now let's check the fish shack. I really want to try the fishing. I saw the minigame. Uh, I saw the developers. They, they showed me the minigame. Um... But I want to try it by myself. It looks very fun. It looks very different from any other fishing minigame. Actually, I saw that building before, but how do you go? Can you even like go in? Can I even get a fishing rod in this demo, actually? Let's check out this shop. A little bakery. Oh, maybe I can buy pineapple. I want to buy bread. Am I talking to the right person? No, I don't. No, I was talking. No. Journey. Oh, I want. Oh. What? What happened? Oh, okay. No, wait. Oh, she only has one. She only has one journey cake. 28. Oh, I could. Yeah, I can give her some straw for a journey cake, but nah, it's fine. It's fine. Let's try to see if we can buy something else. Uh, the fisher lady just passed by to go to the end. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I need to go see her. Okay. So she's going to the inn, sleeping siren inn. Let's go there. I'm so cute, I, I just can't get over how cute the character is.
I wonder if she stays at the inn. No. I don't know who's the fisher lady. Uh, maybe the boat? Is that her? No. Oh, apparently Temperance Crump knows how to knit a whole sweater from scratch. Good to know. Louis Johns can break down a chicken faster than anyone in town. Okay. Who's the fish, Shirley? Is that her? Olvia Wells, ahoy! I've seen some fascinating towns while traveling across the colonies. Yours is one of them. Towns like Honeywood fill me with pride. Okay, she's just like a... Captain. Uh, what about that little guy? You're just plump. That's funny. I think my name's... <laughs> I think my name's better than yours. With enough candy, you can do anything. Can't wait to tell my dad about what I did at school. It's Saturday. What are you talking about? Alright. Oh, is that... Oh, yeah. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Rose Swain, and I'm the fisher. Uh, Clementine goes hunting for bears sometimes. That sounds frightening. Okay, fishing rod, 85. So I have 65 right now with some straw. Some straw. And you know what? Some wood. I just have to pay 22. That's so nice. I love how you can mix the currency, the money with the everything. All right. So we've got our fishing rod. Uh, I don't remember if you need to like see. I don't think you need to see a fish. I think you just throw it. You just wait. Oops. Oh. Oh, no. I, I click on the wrong... I think you need to press, press uh, space bar when the fish bites. Uh, yeah, and then you just follow with the WASD. And like this. Ooh, I got a clam. Let's try that again. Is there a way to pull up a list of all the villagers you can interact with or have a romance option with? Yeah, uh, let me show you. But there, there's a list of villagers and you can see their family. Um, you can see their relatives. So I'm assuming, that's just my guess, but I'm assuming if they're an adult and they're not married already, you can probably romance them. Um, that's my guess. It doesn't say like romanceable or not, I don't think. Oh my gosh, that fish is... Okay. Oh, I'm not getting any fish. I'm just getting like shellfish, like clams and oysters. Oh, that's... <laughs> no wonder it was really easy to catch. It was just trash. I want to get a fish. I want to get a proper fish. I think that one's going to be trash too, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't like this fishing spot. Let's find a better place to fish. Yeah, uh, to answer your question. Yeah, you can see here everybody. And you can see, for example, Isabella. She has a father, a brother, and a mother. So I'm guessing she's probably single. So you can probably marry her. Also, you can see there are traits, right? Everybody has, like, three traits. But I guess you have to, like, find them. Figure them out. Yeah. Oh, and you can see their age. I think in the top right. Oh, zero. No, wait. Some people are one. Some people are... I think, like, the elder people are one. I don't know. I don't know what the age is exactly. Maybe it's the age. Maybe at one, you're like an adult. When you're zero, you're like young. Or something like that. Maybe at year two, you die. I don't know. I would say the character depth is on par with Concede. Well, it's kind of early to say because I, I just kind of started playing. But I think it's going to be kind of similar to Concede because those characters have to be kind of like procedurally generated since... Uh, characters will pass away and like new ones will move in so they can't have very specific personalities like in a game like story of seasons or like coral island or a game where like the characters are all unique 
Um, so since characters will like pass away and be replaced, um, yeah, it, it's gonna be pretty like similar to Kinseed, I guess. Oh, there's some cherries there. Maybe I can sell those. Oh yeah, I wanted to check the blacksmith too, right? Before it's too late. We can... Yeah, let's check the blacksmith. I love the music here. Is there a time limit to the demo? You can play as long as you'd like with limited features. It stops at the end of Sunday. So you can play like pretty much one week. Actually, I think... Doesn't the game start on a Tuesday or something? Um, but yeah, you can play for like... Pretty much until the end of the first week. Oh, I don't think you can go inside the blacksmith. So you have, to, if you want to do the quest to get the lantern, you have to like actually talk with the blacksmith. But I want to fish. I want to get like an actual fish. I'm glad to see you playing. I need to pick me up since I just got a job rejection. Oh no! Wish the demo was longer though. I wish the demo was longer too. But it's nice to give us a good little first look at this game. I'm sorry to hear about your job rejection. I'm sure you'll find something better. Something better, right? You lose an opportunity, but you'll have more. There's going to be more things in the future for you. I'm sure. All right. Well, there's no water here. I guess I'll have to go back. I guess there's not a bunch of places to fish, right? I guess, yeah, that's pretty much the only place. Or maybe there. I wonder if I can fish there. I love the background too. I love the scenery. Yeah, I wonder if that's a good place for fishing. Oh, yeah. I think that's trash again. Yeah, because that quest, she wants three mackerel. Oh my gosh, she wants very specific fish. Commonly used as a small fish found in fresh water. Oh, so maybe in this... Maybe in this swamp I could find it. If not, I'm going to try the river near my farm. Or maybe even the... Oh, I look angry now. Oh, that's just the fishing face. Uh, Seaweed. Oh, I love the little crows that just arrived. They just landed on this tree. That's so cute. Okay, I'm going to try to go fishing near my farm. There was like a little river. I feel like... I'm not catching a lot of good stuff. There's no good fish in the bog yet. Oh, okay. Good to know. <laughs> good to know. Uh, the forest river is the best place for that, we think. Thank you so much. I'm so glad. So glad you're here to help me. Um, so let's go try... Let's go, let's go to the river. Freshwater mackerel? Yeah, I don't know if mackerel is usually like a... Is, is that a freshwater fish? I don't know. I, I don't know too much about fish. Uh, is the inspiration from Paper Mario just about the graphical style? Or is it similar in other ways as well? Ooh, good question. Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of inspiration from... Like, in terms of art style. But I wonder if they took... Inspiration in other aspects. Uh, bye, everyone. Have to go make dinner. And thanks again for sharing, Josh. Can you handle it? Thank you so much. Enjoy your dinner. All right. Here we are at the river. Let me try to find a cuter spot. Actually, is that the one? I wonder if you can do like. Oh, you could go in the forest too, right? Let me try. Oh. Okay, let me. You know what? Okay, let me fish here. I wanted to find a cute spot, but <laughs> I don't have that much time. So let's just fish like right here. Well, I think this spot here could be cute with like the waterfall and everything. Maybe we can go there later. Hi, Josh. That's such a cute art style. Is there any combat in this or just farming? Uh, I don't think there's any combat. I'm not sure if it's something... I don't think they're planning to add combat, if I'm not wrong. Uh, maybe they are. I'm not sure. There's a heart here, so maybe there will be combat. Um, but, yeah, it's mostly, like, relationships and farming, fishing, crafting... 
Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's, let's go try to go in the woods. Let's try to go, like, at that cute place with the waterfall. I really hope so. I'm on a time crunch as I'll leave my family's insurance plan soon once I turn of age. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find something. Alright. Okay. Alright, that's my fishing spot. That's where I wanted to. That is cute. Alright, let's do that. Nice music. Nice waterfall. I think this is trash again, right? Okay, I've been fishing all day. <laughs> Why is there so much trash in this? There's like 20 people living in that village and there's... The rivers are already filled with trash. In the colony, the, the little town is just barely getting started and there's already so much pollution. We're not planning on having combat in game. Okay, good to know. Okay, I think that's a real fish now. I think I'm getting a, a fish for real. That's a tricky one. He's, that's a little fast fish. Aye, aye. <laughs> I wish he could like... I don't know. No. I think it just takes some time getting used to. Is this even possible? <laughs> do I need... Do I need like a better fishing rod? Oh, I'm doing it. I'm getting closer. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Ah, so close. Ah, ha, ha. Yay, I got it. This better be a real fish. Oh, yeah. It's not a mackerel. It's a perch. Phew. I feel so proud. I feel so happy. After all day, a whole day of fishing, I've been doing that pretty much a whole day. Um, hi, Josh. Hi, everyone. Hope you're all having a great day. Hi, Lemina. Glad to see you. I hope you're having a great day as well. Okay, I'm pretty sure this one is a real fish too. Okay, we're getting lucky now. Maybe in the evening? Maybe it's the time of day. Or maybe it's just this place is better for fishing, actually. So if you guys are playing the demo, definitely, I should recommend you come here. If you're looking for a fish. And this one is pike. A hard to catch freshwater fish. Actually, it was easier to catch. It was easier to catch than the first one. Let's get one more and then we'll go to bed. That's trash. Yeah. All right. Uh, what a unique fishing mechanic. I love watching games and there are different takes on fishing. Definitely, it's very unique mechanic, but I love to see. I love to see something different. Uh, wait, can I pick up those flowers? No. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell when something is pickable and not. I think they have like a bigger outline. But yeah, sometimes you don't know if a little flower, if you can pick it up or if it's just decorative. Like, I think these purple ones you can pick up. No, you can't. What's that girl doing? Hello, sir. Oh, she's stargazing at him. Mother always makes me brush my teeth before bed. That's just the way life is. <laughs> I love the dialogues from the kids. They sound so realistic. Why does our teacher expect us to learn grammar? It seems useless. Uh, this looks amazing. Hopefully it will come to Switch. Excited about the macabre element. I really hope it will come on to Switch. I really hope so. It would be amazing. I've never seen a fishing mechanic like that. Looks fun, but challenging. Yeah, I feel like it's not... Um, I wouldn't say challenging. Challenging. It's, challenging. it's not like really difficult. But it does take... I don't think you can, like, really fail unless you, like, are really, really bad at it. But it just takes some time, right? So catching that first fish took me, like, maybe one minute or two minutes. But... 
Yeah, you just need a little bit of patience, I, I feel like. Just like real real fishing, right? You need some you need some patience. With how it is, I think it should run fine on the Switch. I hope so. But sometimes you never know, right? Sometimes there are some games that look like relatively simple graphically. But depending on lots of factors. Uh, like the engine and everything. Sometimes sometimes they still struggle on the Switch, right? So who knows? But I do sure hope that it will run well. The thing is with the controller though, I wonder if when it's ported to Switch, I'm going to be curious to see how the controls work. Because now you're selecting... Like, for example, when you're farming and everything, you're selecting everything with the mouse. So you can tell that it was designed with mouse and keyboard first. So when you're playing on the Switch, I wonder how it's going to work for, like, selecting stuff. And, like, navigating the toolbar and things like that. And that always, like, makes such a big importance. That makes a big difference. Sometimes, sometimes you see some games on the Switch that you know they were designed with mouse and keyboard first. And it doesn't play well on the Switch. So if and when they do port it on the Switch, I hope they will revamp uh, the controls to make it work. Um, it's a little dark, though. Is there a lantern or light source you can craft? Or oh, that's interesting. I, w I was not thinking it was too dark. Uh, but yes, there is a lantern you can craft or buy. Uh, but I don't have it now. All right, so... Oh, I finished that quest. Actually, let's go see Walter. He's gonna give me a leaf. A simple green leaf fallen from a bush for giving him three cherries. That's a horrible reward, but <laughs> anyway, let's go see Walter. Uh, Walter, where are you? So, how can you see? I think if they're inside the build. Oh, there he is. He's the only one I can see. So maybe it only shows you. I don't know. Maybe it only shows. No. Oh. Oh, he's there. Maybe it only shows you the people for the quest and it doesn't show you, like, everyone. Why is your little guy so sad? So when you're hungry or tired... I feel like when you're hungry, your character gets, like, angry. And when you're tired, he gets, like, sad, I think. But, yeah, depending on your... How you're feeling... But, yeah. Oh, Walter. Is that him? Josh Plum. I'll try to remember that. I'm Walter Hull. You're the best. It's nice to plant flowers in your yard and watch them grow. Benjamin Whitfield has a lot of obscure knowledge about insects. Um, let's trade. Pine sap. Ooh. I wonder if you can make maple syrup in that game. Probably if you have like pine sap, there's probably like maple sap too. Alright, it's our last day, guys. What should we do? What should we try to do on our last day? Uh, just throwing this out there. I hope I can play the demo longer. I was not able to get a pickaxe or lantern when my game experience ended. How did you not get a pickaxe? It's right here. You should have it from the start, right? Good morrow to you, sir. It really brightens my day to see a smile on Walter's face. Oh, is she Walter's wife? Is there any place we have not seen? Oh, we haven't seen the lighthouse. Lavender Boutique. And the school. Oh, maybe we can go to the school. Let's check that out. See what the kids are. Oh, it's Sunday. Oh, is there a church? No. Uh, let's go to the school. See if there is anything. I love the ambient lighting. The li lighting. Yeah, the lighting is good. The whole atmosphere is just so nice. Yeah, so there is obviously no one at school on Sunday. Market day starts at 10 a.m. in the town square if you wanted to see. The oh, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Oh, it's just starting now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For forgot about the market. Oh, I need to pay my taxes. Oh, my gosh. I, I need to make money. 
Uh, do you want to buy some stuff from me? I need to make 50 something. Let's go see if there's some good stuff at the market, but yeah, I, I'm gonna have to pay my taxes. I mean, it doesn't matter because the demo ends, but I I want to me have a good I want to have a good conscience knowing that I paid my taxes. Market day is awesome. Hopefully, let's check that out. Yeah, I love that there's like a little activity like each Sunday. There's gonna be like a little something special, right? A little market. Oh. Look at that. Everybody's got their own little thing set up. Oh, that's the Lavender Boutique, right? So... Oh, that guy has a lot of money. So that guy's selling, like, fruits and stuff. Is she selling... Oh, yeah, she's selling... Violet, Lavender, some jam... Oh, lantern oil. So when you when you have the lantern, you'll have to uh, buy some oil to. Uh, oh, she's the honey girl. I love how her car. She has like little yellow ribbons and stuff. Um, honey, forty-two. That's expensive. That's half of my taxes. Oh, that guy's selling like leather and stuff. Oh no, he's selling berries. Maybe she's selling something. Clement Clementine. She's selling the same stuff as him. Oh, here I can buy the eggs and the milk. Oh, yeah. So if you want to make some cake, you can buy... Oh, we can buy the animals. Oh, my gosh. You can buy a cat. A fluffy canico cat is ready for adoption. They will wander around your farm. A chicken. Oh, my gosh. You can buy a... I want to pay my taxes, but honestly... Uh, why is it not working? Maybe you cannot... I think maybe you cannot buy the animals in the demo, is that why? Um, what happens if you don't have money to pay taxes? Do you go into debt? Game over. Oh my gosh, you gotta make sure. You gotta make sure you pay your taxes. Can you imagine if you play for like three years and then <laughs> you play for so long and then you forget to pay your taxes? But yeah, so far at least it doesn't seem like they're too like crazy expensive. Um, yeah, I can buy. Oh, because I don't have a barn. I don't have a chicken coop. Yeah. You need a barn to buy an animal. Though. You can buy a cat or dog. Oh, but I don't have the money for it, though. Do I? One ninety-nine. Ah, yeah, yeah. If I sell all of my tools. Yes. It's fine. It's the demo. It's fine if I don't have any more tools. I want to see. I want to see the dog. And then fish. All right. Oh, so the market was pretty fun. Market was pretty fun. I wonder if there's any... Like, if most of it is kind of stuff that... Oh, by the way, she's going to pay me 24 coins for one salmon. Let me check. Let me check the fish shop. Uh, Wait, no, that's medicine. Uh, salmon. Oh, she doesn't sell it. Alright, let's check our dog. Is he at home? The dog is wrapped in a rainbow blanket. <laughs> okay, let's go see. Let's go see what our dog is looking like. Yeah, I wish I could play more to do all that barn stuff and crafting more. Yeah, after all, it is a demo, so... Gives you a little taste of the game, but maybe when we're closer to release, there will be a longer demo. Or we'll just have to wait until the full full game. OK, 
can't wait to see what my dog look like. I wonder if you can give him an, a name. Is he gonna be like in my house? No, where's my dog? Is he in the market? Oh, is my are my turnips red? Oh my gosh. Oh, that is nice. So uh, I'll be able to pay my taxes, right? I think I didn't have to sell my tools. I didn't realize my turnips would be ready. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that like they give you turnip seeds, but yeah, you, you actually can grow them before the end of the store also. That's good. Before the end of the demo. Okay, so we'll sell that. Uh, Dougie, where are you? They're probably wandering around the farm somewhere, which is quite large. It is a really big farm, honestly. It's a pretty big farm. I wonder if you can see the dog on the map. No. Oh, I love, though, that you can see, like, I think, which part of the farm you're on. Like, your little face actually moves to the exact spot you're on. Uh, which is nice detail. Where's my dog? I want to... I want to meet my dog. Maybe the bottom left? Yeah. Let's see. Do you move faster if you move in diagonal? I feel like you do, right? I think you do. <laughs> um. Oh. There he is. That's the rainbow blanket. Without the rainbow blanket, I wouldn't have found him. Oh, because he doesn't have a body yet. He's just... I think that's why. <laughs> that's just a work in progress, I guess. Oh, yeah. He's kind of... Yeah. <laughs> he's cute. He's cute. He's moving a little bit. He's going somewhere. Well, you look cute. Okay, let me eat a turnip. Let me sell my turnips, then I'm gonna pay my taxes. And after that, we're gonna be approaching the end of the demo. The body is bugged. Oh, that's... <laughs> so they are hiding it. Hiding the body with a blanket. Let's go sell our turnips. I love how you can see like other people fishing and doing their thing. Oh, the market is already done. It's not even 3 p.m. Okay, let me sell... I can sell to anyone. Oh, no, she doesn't have money. Yeah, you gotta go to the shops, because regular, like... Oh, wait, can I sell my turnips? Is there anyone that's gonna buy my turnips at, on, on a Sunday at 3 p.m.? Oh, oh my gosh, she's rich. Okay. So you can sell... Oh, you don't... The turnips are not that valuable, actually. Oh, I'm missing five coins for my taxes. Okay, let me catch one fish. Wait, 20? Wait, I think... Oh, I'm confused. I think I sold him my fishing rod and I bought it back. Oops. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, you know what, guys, I'm not going to be able to pay my taxes. It's fine, we'll just fail sometimes. Sometimes that that's what happens in life, you just fail, uh, but it's okay, it's a demo, so whenever I get the real game, I'll be, I'll be more careful about, about my taxes. Hey Josh Plum, how goes it? Uh, I think I'll buy some lavender flowers from Jane McBell from my house. It's hard to imagine working with meat all day, but Henry John seems to love it. Goodbye. Buyback isn't in right now, don't worry about it since the demo ends first. 
exactly yeah i'm not not too worried <laughs> not too worried about it since it's just a demo yeah i didn't realize i just sold my sold my fishing rod and i couldn't i wanted to catch like one fish just so i could make a tiny bit more money and then sell sell it with my fishing rod and have like a hundred coins but it's fine. Oh, I could sell my cherry. Well, I'm not even, because I bought back my fishing rod. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. If I had just picked those cherries up, would have been fine. Anyway, it's fine. Let's just take a walk in the forest. Uh, Josh, what happens when uh, taxes not paid? Game over. Yeah. So th yeah, it's pretty much yeah. It's gonna be a game over if you don't pay your taxes. Let's see if there's any area we have not explored. Oh, you can see the sky. Uh, graveyard, we saw that. We saw the forest. Um, we haven't seen that area there. I don't know if you can go in the forest there. So let's go. Let's go there. Eat the mushroom. Oh, is there a mushroom? Oh, this one, death cap. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to go... Let's go check the forest before I eat that. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's a good idea, but since, since it's the end of the demo, I will try. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that area, right? I get Paper Mario vibes from... You know, like, the forest when you in Paper Mario 64? Before you go to the haunted house? Kind of makes me feel like that. Especially with the music. This like kind of like spooky. It's not spooky, but... Yeah, the thing here. The bushes. For science. Yeah. All right. Let's... Shall we eat that mushroom? This game in general is very Paper Mario vibes, which I enjoy, definitely. It's kind of like a dream come true, like the Paper Mario art, art style, which is one of my favorite art style in like all of gaming. Plus Farming Sim, which is my favorite genre of games. Uh, I think there's plenty of child labor in the mines from that era. I don't know if there's any in the game that would be too... Immersively disturbing. Yeah, I wonder who's gonna be in the mines. But we can't go there yet. We don't have any lanterns. So, all right, should we eat that mushroom? What's gonna happen? Oh, it makes you. Oh, death imminent. Get your things in order. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die in 50 seconds, guys. So, all right, I'm gonna give you my, my thoughts on this game so far before I die. So, it was really fun. I love the art style. I love the opening cutscene, the opening like introduction was so cute. Uh, I'm still sad that my friend Timothy passed away. He was really lovely um, and I miss him. Oh my gosh, I'm turning red, I'm turning purple. I'm really dying. Um, yeah, I miss Timothy and the art style is so nice. And this game has cute mechanics. I love that you can insult <laughs> the villagers. Oh my gosh, I'm really, really dying. And yeah, the fishing is nice. I love that the food can rot. And I'm looking forward to seeing like how it's going to work in winter when you have to like stock up on your food and everything. Make sure you don't die. It's very interesting that you can actually just die in game over and you have to like pay your taxes or otherwise it's going to be game over. So I feel like there's going to be a little bit of a challenge in this game. So I'm looking forward to that. And I just died. Game over. Your character died. Better luck next time. Oh, well... That was Echoes of the Plum Grove. That was the life of Josh Plum, which just ended. Thank you for playing our demo. Be sure to wishlist it on Steam. Well, thank you so much to Unwound Games for making this demo available for everybody to try it. Uh, the demo, last time I checked, it was still available on Steam. So if you guys want to try it, uh, feel free to try it. It's, it's a lot of fun. You can play one week until the end of Sunday. Or until you die. Uh, but you can do it as many times 
Um, oh, continue. Oh, it starts at the beginning of the day because there's autosave. Um, credits. Sarah, Eric. So these are the two main uh, developers. And then they worked with a few other people. Composers, very good. Animations, I love the animations and the sound design of this game. And then Freedom Games, which is the publisher. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Graphics, there are some options here. Unstuck, oh, that's nice too. Always nice to have an unstuck button. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. It was a bonus stream, so it's a little bit shorter than the, my regular streams. But it was so fun to try out this game, and I'm looking forward to playing it more. Thanks for playing, Josh. The demo should be available for a couple more weeks. That's good. Good to hear, because, yeah, last time we talked, it, it was seeming like the demo was going to be ending, like, very soon. But I'm glad to know that people still have a few more weeks to play it. So I definitely recommend, guys, check it out before it gets removed. Um, check out the demo. It's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, and that's going to be pretty much it. Tomorrow I'm going to be streaming Paleo Pines, uh, the full version of the game. The, yeah, they're sending me a full release. So we're going to check that out tomorrow. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video or live stream. Bye.